We have so many more procedures and protocols in place in order to keep our patients safe and certainly our staff safe. So upon arrival in our office, we'll take your temperature and your oxygen saturation to make sure that they're normal level. Um, we'll do a COVID screening to make sure you don't have any signs and symptoms of that. We won't allow anybody to, to sit in our waiting room at this time. Patients have to be escorted directly into an operatory and seated where it's closed and, and closed off from the rest of our office. Um, all of our staff have to wear um, a large amount of PPE supplies, an N95 mask, a surgical mask over the N95 mask, hair bonnet, foot covers, isolation gowns or, um, or isolation suits, um, safety goggles, uh, face shields. The studies all came out early on um, when this pandemic hit that uh, dentists were one of the highest uh, susceptible professions to be infected by this virus, so dentists, assistants, hygienists, um, and it's all related to these aerosol generating procedures that we do on our patients and the fact that we can't socially distance from ourselves from them when we're treating them. What have you actually had to do to your premises and, and what kind of PPE have you brought in um, and what are, the, what are the costs associated? Well, first of all, the costs are um, exponential. I, there, no one could have predicted how much any of these changes would cost. Certainly none of us could predict how much the PPE supplies would have cost when they were pennies six months ago. But you know, we purchased um, HEPA air purifiers, six of them, one for all the operatories and for the waiting area. We purchased antimicrobial furniture that could be wiped down. Um, so when we do open our, our, our waiting room for some patients, they'll have a safe place to sit. Um, we have put up glass shielding for reception and waiting for another glass panel for the rest of reception. We've ordered doors for all three hygiene rooms. At the moment, they have we have uh, construction doors on those hygiene rooms. Uh, N95 masks, so I spent all of my time while, while we were uh, in lockdown hunting and searching for, in particular, the 1870 plus N95 masks. Those masks are like gold right now. They started out at being $1.50, now that they're about $16 for one mask, which is extraordinary. But all the supplies have gone up. The isolation gowns used to be also maybe a dollar, now 11 to $14 for one gown. So you're charging a fee of $20 to patients for, for the visits? I am. I am charging um, a PPE fee of $20. Um, I, I worked out how much it, would, it, it costs uh, for us to um, to just see the patient. So myself and my assistant both have to don all of our PPE, that means an N95 mask, surgical mask, face shield, safety goggles, hair bonnet, foot cover, and, um, and an isolation suit. And, I said, and that costs us about $60 just, just to seat the patients. The dental community has reached out to government and we have spoken to the Bermuda Health Council who uh, validated certain, but most definitely validated our concerns. And my understanding is that they are going to have another meeting today uh, to approach the insurance companies to see if the insurance companies will, will cover at least some, some part of the cost of our PPE.